Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Um, as many of you know, I've been uh, battling this thyroid disease. I'm not going to call it Graves disease any longer because who the hell knows. Um, but as many of you know, I recently had to cancel my trip to the American or uh, the Harp Open House um, due to some changes in my health. And I just kind of wanted to update you guys because it's been a minute since I made a video. Uh, I have been working out a lot, um, changing my diet and doing a lot of things to try to fix this and uh, exploring all the options that have been sent in. I've gotten many different uh, opinions uh, sent via email and otherwise. And, um, you know, received a lot of support, and I appreciate all of that, and I thank you all for your prayers. Um, the thing is, I'm really trying to explore some professional help, and uh, it's just, it's, it's downright expensive. Um, you know, as I've mentioned before, I'm on Medicaid, and trying to pay for all this stuff out of pocket is kind of outrageous. Um, that's why I've, you know, set up a GoFundMe. Um, it's at GoFundMe.com slash FixMyThyroid. Um, links in the details. Um, anybody, if you can contribute to that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I just recently did a video, Trip to Harp, Open House, Canceled Due to Health Problems. Um, I'll link also in the details. You guys can check that out. Um, but basically, my thyroid has gone from hyperthyroid, which is Graves' disease, to hypothyroid. Um, so that's, that's a pretty wild ride. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I've been exploring uh, many different options. One that's worked pretty well for me is uh you know this rain seed product um you know i sell it on climateviewer.com i'm using it myself you can see it on the sidebar here it says soul um and it's basically you know a concentrated seed seed product um and you know it's anti-inflammatory it helped me shrink my thyroid by an inch in two months then I went to the beach and I ate like a pig and broke all the rules and my throat swole back up. Um, nobody's perfect, but you know, if you guys want to check that out, um, you know, any purchases you make there also support me, but it's going to be very good for you. And uh, Rain's a pretty impressive product. I hope you guys will check it out. Um, it's, it's, you know, been pretty good to me. That being said, you know, I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, check out uh, Dr. Morse, um, which I did. And um, as you can see, I watched a recent video by him. Growing goiter. We don't want that. So if you're growing a goiter, could we use another word for it? Growing tumor? And, you know, I listened to his, uh, you know, his you know, rant about goiters and, you know, talking about using a grape fast and things like that. Something I'm looking into. Um, but, you know, I was encouraged to seek out his professional opinion. So I signed up for his, uh, you know, herbal club and then found out that Dr. Morse himself doesn't actually do any counseling anymore. So you can't actually speak to him. Um, you can email him and he'll answer your questions in a video, I suppose. Um, but, you know, after signing up, I got this questionnaire they wanted me to fill out. And they said that, you know, you can meet with one of the other counselors that they have. Um, both him, uh, Dr. Uh, Morris and uh, Marcy Troyer are no longer accepting people. So I guess I have to choose between Nadia and Attila. <laughs> And uh, that is $225 for an hour to an hour and a half on Skype by itself, just to talk to them. 
Um, and then what they're going to do is suggest a kit. <laughs> and as you can see, the kits range in the $200 ranges, like each. So that was kind of a big letdown. Um, I was kind of surprised, you know, sticker shock and all that. But regardless, um, another friend uh, said, hey, well, then check out Dr. Deagle, Bill Deagle, and it, he's at Nutramedical.com. And I was pretty stoked about that. You know, you know, he's an MD and seems to know what he's talking about and is well versed in the subject. So I was like, you know, looking forward to this. I spoke to him on the phone and he suggested that, you know, I purchase um, a doctor's consult with him. Oh, by the way, that's $150 per half hour. He suggested purchasing two of those. So that's 300 bucks just to talk to him for an hour and then he'll start to, you know, give me advice. Um, alternatively, he could give me some free advice and a uh, health protocol thing where, you know, of course, it's the same deal. He um, will tell me to purchase some of his, you know, products, you know, wellness protocols. And, you know, all of this stuff is extremely expensive. So I, you know, took everything that I've been told and I opted for something called Actolin. I'm going to try it as well. And uh, it's Dr. David Brownstein. And it's basically, you know, um, pretty much everything everybody's telling me to take. Uh, it comes with 200 micrograms of iodine. Um, it has some Ayurvedic ayurvedic herbs um some root extracts that are supposedly very helpful methyl sulfonyl meth methane uh, which helps you to um you know absorb the thyrosin stuff um also has zinc copper manganese vitamin d e a magnesium niacin and riboflavin which are b complex vitamins um all of which insulinium all of which are supposed to be very good for your um thyroid so i'm going to try that you know they had a free trial um so i got a free bottle i'm going to give it a shot if it works it's only 39 dollars a bottle so we'll see how that works out um but regardless you know, this this has been a been a wild ride. Um, you know, uh, I think that I've been misdiagnosed because I've fluctuated between hyperthyroid and hypothyroid so many times that I may have Hashimoto's thyroidosis or thyroiditis, whatever you want to call it, but it's Hashimoto's. And um, you know, one day it's, you know, my thyroid's overactive, the next day it's underactive. So, you know, I've quit dairy, I've quit gluten, I quit caffeine, I quit, you know, now I've quit meat. Oh my God, that was hard. Um, and I'm on pretty much a vegan diet. Um, and, you know, I, I feel much better than I, I did. I still have the loss of vision in my left eye. I went to see an optometrist. They don't have a freaking clue what's going on. They're blaming my, the th my thyroid medicine. Um, there was also a recent uh, recall on levothyroxine, um, which coincided with you know my eye, my vision loss in my left eye. So maybe I, I'm a victim of a, you know bad pill recall. Um, who knows? But there's the pharmaceutical industry for you. Gotta love that. So like I said, you know, please continue to support my GoFundMe. I'm exploring every option I can um, to try to fix this naturally, and I'm not gonna give up easily. So. Um, that brings us to the next point about this Facebook hate speech thing. It just happened to me. 
um, pretty interesting stuff. So, you know, I, I was pretty surprised when I got this message. Um, you know, I just shared a video about Zionism and how Nazis and Zionists had something called the transfer agreement. And I thought it was an innocent share. You know what I mean? I didn't make any speech at all. In fact, my post doesn't have anything on it. I just shared a post. Um, and apparently down here it says Zionists are the biggest liars in history. The untold truth about Hitler, the transfer agreement, and the creation of Israel. And I found it to be fascinating. And my wife is reading the book Killing Patton. So it was just, you know information you know what i mean so i shared the video and what do you know um facebook decided to ban me for 24 hours because of hate speech so that was interesting to me especially with you know alex jones getting banned for hate speech um a good friend of mine, Harold Save, his Chemtrails Planet just got deleted from WordPress. I know of seven other WordPress sites that were recently deleted. So for me to be called, um, you know, sharing hate speech was kind of a, you know, WTF. Um, and, you know, so then it gets even weirder. Then they say, you know, the same post, it was removed because it looks like spam to us. So, you, you already banned me for 24 hours. And I said, well, this isn't hate speech. So then they say, well, it's spam. Okay. Now you're getting really weird on me. So I said, you know, tell us it, it, this post isn't spam. I did. And, of course... Um, they totally didn't agree with that. They said, you know, you told us this wasn't spam. Case closed. As you can see right there. So, go figure. I can't figure this out because if this was hate speech, and if this really, because you can see the post here, we remove your post because it was hate speech, but in the inbox it says that it's spam. Then why is the original video still available? I mean, I shared this from Bram Maskovich, his wall. His hasn't been moved, removed or anything. The video is still there. You can play it. So he allied with the Zionist uh, party and the mission of the Nazis was to force the anti-Zionist Jews to accept Zionism. And, you know, I found it fascinating. It was a piece of history I'd never heard of before, you know, that N.A. was for the Nazi or the, you know, Germans political party and Z.I. was for the Zionist party. And that's what where the word Nazi comes from. So, I, you know, I found it fascinating, but I find it even more fascinating that I'm getting busted for hate speech, getting banned for hate speech, but the original video is still there. I mean, does that make any sense to anyone? It certainly doesn't make any sense to me. And he shared it from another individual. And that video is still there too, the original poster who, you know, put it up. You know, so it makes zero sense to me. The original video is still there. The guy who shared it, it's still there. I share it, it's hate speech, and then it's spam. Um, so to say I've been targeted is probably an understatement. Um, I constantly go and post, you know, things on Facebook. They're immediately deleted. I like things they're unliked immediately um i refresh the page my comments are gone i don't really know why i'm still on facebook other than to share my media and i really have you know come to my wits end with facebook in particular so 
I don't know how much longer I'll be using this product because I hate everything about it, the people that behind it, and everybody knows what's going on about the soft censorship, shadow banning, all of that sort of thing. So, you know, like I said, it's just fascinating to me that the two original videos are still up, but mine was considered hate speech and I got banned for 24 hours for sharing it. So just food for thought on that. You can't even share history uh, without being called a hate speecher. So that, enough with all the bitching and moaning about my health and Facebook. Let's move on to something cool. So this is what I've been up to since um, I pretty much ignored my Facebook. I've been creating a new Climate Viewer 3D and this one is extra special. Um, I really honed it down to the simplest form possible and added all the features that people have been asking for for the last couple of years. Um, and I, I'm very excited to show it to you guys now. I hope that you guys will be pretty impressed with this stuff because I'm working my butt off on it. <coughs> So you just you open up the map list, you click add, and only your active maps will show now. So you're not overwhelmed by a whole lot of stuff. You click add maps, show all. It shows all of the maps that are currently available. I've so far put 194 maps in there. I have a total of 750 currently on the, the live version of Climb Viewer 3D. But regardless, um, you come in here and you hit pollution and privacy. You click atmospheric sensors and then suddenly you have map previews of what each map looks like, which I absolutely adore. It gives you, you know, an idea of what you're about to load, something I've always wanted in there. Um, so really cool feature, a lot of work to make it like this, nuclear radiation, it only shows you the map previews once you hit a subcategory. Otherwise, you'd be lo loading 700 photos simultaneously. Um, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, I've got a couple of satellites in there so far. As you can see, you know, I'm working through the sections um, one by one. I started adding some of the history, like the abandoned sunken ships and ancient ruins and pyramids of the world you just click on it it says remove map that lets you know it's loaded up close it there it is there's all the pyramids of the world um if you click base maps it's got a huge base map chooser now so you can just click that hit close it changes the map base maps go to a different one watercolor pretty cool stuff um very simple to use if you want to share your screen location, like say you want to go right here, click share screen, gives you a link that you can share a short version of the link and an embed code. So if you want to embed the map right on your website, um, if you want to clear it all off, you can either just clear it, just turn that map off, turn it back on, um, or you can just clear it off. But in addition, each and every single map has its own map page now. So if you click the little I for I information, it's going to take you to that map page and it's going to load it up. It's going to say pyramids of the world and have this here. And as you can see, this one's available only in 3D. But below you'll see the information on it, where I got the information from, the video documentary, attribution details and all that. So in addition, for those who like to go the old school route, there's a site map and the site map has all of the maps listed out like this. So if you were to click on like say alerts and weather, you'll see that it now shows all of the different maps, you know, in, in, you know, categories by text, um, you know, and you can flip through them like that. Pretty freaking cool. Um, I really like the way this is turning out. So you click the live rain and snow map section. It'll just show you the maps from there. You can click on next rad radar. 
and what you'll see is it'll pop the radar up and it's just on you know one one map on one page uh, really cool stuff let me put this back to the normal size that's the normal size and you can see details about the map who made it what type of map it is where it came from more information on it and you know you map controls same deal you got a slider where you can adjust the opacity and all that um you know data attribution all that kind of stuff um you can also switch to 2d map right on there so you can actually flip between the two now so if you guys don't have 3d support you can click switch to 2d map and now you're on a 2d leaflet map instead which is freaking awesome um <laughs> this was not easy to code oh my god i had so much you know, trouble trying to figure out how to easily switch between the two and make it work so this one says cb 2d and the other says cb 3d and it still works just fine either way same base map chooser 3d terrain all that stuff if you go to 2d base map chooser looks identical but no terrain because it's flat um but really fascinating stuff i uh, go to site map come down here to atmospheric sensors click on high frequency active auroral research program and you can fly yourself up to harp um click on it here this is the 3d version i'm going to change this so it's not popping up on the sidebar but regardless click this switch to 2d map exact same thing except you get a big fat modal which i like much better i'm gonna try to do that in the 3d as well um so you know this is what i've been working on to try to clear my head um, i'm avoiding social media because it stresses me the hell out and i'm trying to you know just de-stress and focus on my health as much as possible so i hope that you guys will continue to support my work this uh, new version of climate viewer 3d will be available soon um like i said you know you've got the big 3d map just like before you also have a big 2d map full screen um does exact same thing add maps pollution and privacy harp click on atmospheric sensor shows the preview flies you to it change the base map make it whatever you like go to the satellite aerial zoom in you can see it click on that you get the thing you get the idea click on the little tree icon here has all of the different markers listed you can fly around go up to poker flats poker flat isr all of that stuff um really really cool um i'm hella proud of how this is coming out and so far i really like what we got going on apparently there's not much information there all right so anyway clear that out by hitting the trash can minimize this and you get rid of the sidebar thing and you're right back to where you started click the home button it'll fly you back to the good old usa and that's the whole thing works really really fast um will work on any phone i iPhone, iTablet, whatever. Um, and the 3D has more features, uh, you know, uh, really, really cool stuff in there. If you go to other satellites, mimic animations, I've actually got these working in here now. So, all of those that you guys did follow the little microwave pulses, you'll be able to animate that. Um, got that working like a boss. So expect animated maps on Climate Viewer 3D that work. I uh, finally got those working again. And uh, a ton more. So very, very much for looking forward to, to getting this up there. Um, you know, it, it has all the features that people have been requesting. Like if you want to come up here and type in, uh, just in the search bar, you type in harp. 
that's what you get. There's harp, and there's how harp destroyed the North Korean nuclear test mountain and collapsed. Click that bad boy, it'll fly you over and let you see it in 3D. Very, very cool. So that's what I've been working on to de-stress. You know, the, the map's my favorite thing to work on. Um, I'm going to continue to work on it till it's done. And, um, you know, continue to focus on my health. I'm trying everything I can. Trying to get good advice. Um, but apparently, good advice at a minimum costs $225 an hour. And Bill Deagle is $300 an hour. Um, you know, so I'm, you know, right now I'm just doing self research and trying to not spend any money because I have very little, but I will get through this because I'm Superman and, you know, all this will bounce off of me eventually. And I have been hard at work, so don't think that I just disappeared on you guys. Just because I couldn't make it to Harp doesn't mean I've given up and walked away from all this stuff. I've been busy working my tail off on uh, this new map. And I can barely wait to get it done because when it's done, I'm going to start making some new maps and some new videos to go with that. So, like I said, guys, you know, please continue to support my GoFundMe. Um, I'm going to put, you know, all that money towards getting good advice, getting tested. Right now, I, I need to pay out of pocket for um, a Epstein-Barr virus test, uh, mercury, aluminum, and uh, what was the other one? Lead um, in my blood. Medicaid won't cover it. Um, and a couple other blood tests that I need to have done because... From what I understand, Epstein-Barr EBV virus is what's the root cause of my thyroid issues. And I've had a lot of metal filling. So, um, you know, along with, you know, flu vaccine that started all this and living downwind from Shaw Air Force Base, Sumter Airport, and Shaw Bombing Range, everybody I know in town has some form of a thyroid issue. I'm going to be looking into that as well. But regardless, I want to know for certain, you know, how much metal's in my blood. Um, because metal feeds the EBV virus. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm going to have to pay out of pocket for all of these tests. So, any support you guys can give me on the GoFundMe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Alternatively, I'd like to also thank um, my pa people over on Patreon. Um, you guys are, you know, helping me pay the bills right now. I really appreciate that. Um, you're the best. And uh, anybody who supports me with PayPal donations, I also appreciate that. Um, links to that can be found at the top of climateviewer.com. And all you got to do is click either one. You know, you give a monthly donation via pay Patreon or a one-time donation via PayPal. Um, always appreciate it. I'm going to be sending out a lot of thank you letters uh, very shortly. I've gotten far, far behind on that um, because I've been so busy, you know, trying to get educated on this stuff. Um, you know, going to and from the doctor, getting blood tests, you know, just a lot going on. Um, I got some big family news coming up. I'm going to announce, you know, in the next month or two, but regardless, um, I'm going to keep plugging away at this. Uh, this is a lifelong process and I hope to have a very long life. So I don't want to have my thyroid cut out and I'm going to continue to fight this as hard as I can. I hope that you guys will continue to support me and support my work by sharing this video, sharing climateviewer.com climateviewer.org and weathermodificationhistory.com so i love you guys and i mean it um i'm still here i'm still working hard and i'm going to continue to do so as long as god lets me so thank you very much for watching this video tonight and remember attack ideas not people if this video resonates with you leave me a comment because i love hearing from you all First time here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, 
So come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.